you can be in the right place at the right time. But if you constantly put yourself in the right place, the right time will come. Well, my name is Matt Dalton, and I am the owner here at 37 Studios. And I also am a, I guess you'd call it a festival promoter or an event coordinator. I don't know what you'd call the actual title of that. Playing in bands is how I got my start doing, you know, anything in this line of work. It was me not having opportunities at my disposal. So, you know, my, my gut instinct was to just create the opportunities. I came from Frankenmuth, which obviously is not the entertainment mecca of Michigan, much less anywhere else. And, uh, you know, we didn't have recording studios in our area. We didn't have festivals or, or really like a local scene per se. The closest places that you could go to play were Saginaw or Flint or, you know, you were driving a considerable distance if you wanted to get your band in front of some people. So I started putting on hall shows and, you know, working on music out of my basement at my house. and just kind of, you know, it started to escalate and escalate and escalate over the years. Becoming a producer was a little bit of a just happenstance in, in the grand scheme of all of it. It wasn't really where I originally saw myself working. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a comic book artist. But, uh, you know, slowly as music started taking over, after high school, um, it was just something that I naturally fell into. And after recording a couple records at other studios with other producers, you know, I kind of started to get that itch for wanting to do it. And the best thing about this is there is no such thing as a typical day. The flow of creativity in general lends itself to allow things to become what they're going to become and not constantly have a rigid schedule where it's like, okay, well, 10.30, coffee pot's on, you know, where's this guy, where's that guy, everybody get to your station, it's a lot more like, oh, we have drums to record today, okay, let's get the drums done today, tomorrow could be recording some vocals, the next day could be recording some guitar, the next day could be recording some crazy foreign instrument that you've never heard of before, and it's just always something different. It's been a huge privilege to work with bands like Battlecross, who are from right here, but they have, you know, they obviously have uh, international recognition now. Um, I've worked with Chiodo. I've worked with Head PE, which is like a huge thing for me. That was a band that I was like, this band is amazing. Like I would listen to them relentlessly and then come full circle and then I'm working on one of their records. So that was that was a cool thing. The thing about Dirtfest is that it was it was such a hobby, I suppose. We just wanted to have a show outdoors for ourselves that was generally following the hall show format. The whole, you know, five dollars for five bands gets in for the night. A few years after that, we just kept adding bands and adding stages and sort of, you know, slowly getting a feel for what it takes to make something bigger than what it was the year prior. And then, you know, come now, I mean, it's been more than 15 years and it's developed into something that attracts bands from all over the world and fans from all over the world. And we've hit a, a point now with the studio and with Dirtfest that um, my future plans are right now to just maintain you know, the, the level of, of progress that we're doing and, and not try to grow too big too fast. I employ multiple engineers in the studio. I employ a lot of people for the festival, so I'm responsible for a, a lot of people who also love music and so it weighs heavily on on me to to make sure that what we're doing remains successful because people's livelihoods are literally at stake as a result of it and we all love music and we all love doing what we do to me as long as we put the festival on and people attend it and there's smiles on faces and great reviews after from people that say that they had a good time, that's more than enough for me. It's, it's something that's very unique to this area and, and I'm satisfied with that for sure. In order to establish yourself, I think you just have to be 
number one, honest with yourself and, and find what it is about you that makes you unique. The only reason I'm wearing clothes right now is because I'm on camera. Good times, Devin.